Hey guys, welcome back to the Replay Media. Today, we will be discussing a subject that is breaking the internet, and that is Cat Williams' interview on Shannon Sharp's podcast, Club Shay Shay. As you well know, Cat Williams is a comedian, actor, and rapper who has been in the entertainment industry since the late 90s, long enough to know the darker sides of the business. The thing is, where many people prefer to remain silent, Williams spoke fearlessly on the podcast, making references to the power circles that dominate entertainment and how they've tried to bend it. For example, he said Harvey Weinstein made sexual advances on him in front of his agency. It's been a while since Weinstein was exposed, but Williams went further to demystify popular comedians like Cedric the Entertainer, who Williams said doesn't write his jokes. He also criticized Ricky Smiley, claiming he's been playing the same old black woman for decades. Same with Steve Harvey, whom he accused of stealing his jokes and material from other legendary comedians. According to Williams, Harvey copied the idea of hanging with Mr. Cooper to create the Steve Harvey show. But without a doubt, one of the most criticized by the comedian was Kevin Hart, whom he branded as an industry plant who keeps under the table deals. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person, Williams said. He definitely didn't hold anything back. And I could go on, but you better go check out the original podcast of Club Shay Shay, which already has 40 million views almost a week after its release. Beyond his successful comedic side, Williams has a remarkable career in Hollywood, where he is mostly played supporting characters that steal the show. Without further ado, let's revisit Cat Williams' best films. The Perfect Holiday, 2007, directed by Lance Rivera. As the Christmas mood is still present, what better way to start than with this film produced by Queen Latifah and starring Gabrielle Union and Morris Chestnut. The story revolves around Benjamin, an aspiring songwriter who tries in vain to impress Jay Jizzy, Charlie Murphy, an acclaimed rapper. Through the vagaries of life and a temporary job as Santa Claus, Benjamin ends up falling in love with Nancy, a divorced woman and mother of three. But that wasn't a problem for Benjamin until he learns that her ex is Jay Jizzy. Certainly it's a plot we've seen before, although it has its Christmas charm. It's a movie to disconnect from the world. Plus, Terrence Howard and Queen Latifah have omniscient roles as angels. In this story, Cat Williams played Delicious, Jay Jizzy's manager, and although he has few scenes, it was enough time for him to shine with his trademark humor and great chemistry with Charlie Murphy. School Dance 2014, directed by Nick Cannon. Don't be fooled by the name, Cat Williams doesn't dance in this movie, but his scene will make you dance with laughter. Starring Bobby J. Thompson, School Dance revolves around Jason, a high school student who has finally found the girl of his dreams, Anastasia, Christina DeBarge. There's just one problem, she doesn't even know he exists. Maybe if he could earn a spot on the school's dance team, Jason might have a chance. But first, he'll have to overcome his mother's rejection, survive Anastasia's mobster brother, and a host of crazy situations that make for a pretty entertaining comedy. Just as in the previous film, Cat Williams has a small role, but one that sticks in your mind. He plays a father serving time in prison and forcing his son to pay for his sins. He may not be the best father, though he recognizes when a son is not his own. People who have seen the movie will understand. Father Figures, 2017, directed by Lawrence Schur. With the great comedy actors Owen Wilson and Ed Helms in the lead, Father Figures tells us the story of two brothers who grow up hearing the story of how their father died before they were born. But when they reach adulthood, they discover that he's quite alive and set out in search of him. The problem is that they don't know what he looks like, so he could be anyone, even Cat Williams. All kidding aside, Cat Williams is not their father in this story, but plays a hitchhiker who befriends the protagonist along the way. His character functions as a sort of bridge between the two brothers, but his best side is in the comedy scenes where he brings out his spidey sense. Don't believe me? Go see it. First Sunday, 2008, directed by David E. Taubert. Now, let's go to the movies where Cat Williams has a more important role. 
funny that First Sunday was one of the box office hits of his Hollywood career, given that he also criticized Ice Cube on Shannon's podcast, but we'll get to that later. Starring Ice Cube and Tracy Morgan, First Sunday introduces us to Darrell and Lee John, two good friends who both share a poor financial situation. When Darrell learns that his ex-girlfriend is planning to move to another state with her son because of financial debt, the two friends plan to rob the neighborhood chapel, where they meet a somewhat troubled choir director. Of course, that character was Cat Williams, who combined his Christianity with his comedy to create some hilarious scenes. Even the other actors couldn't hold in their laughter, and you can tell how they get out of character. But it's impossible not to when it's Williams. Quirky and eccentric, Williams' character in First Sunday steals the show. Friday After Next, 2002, directed by Marcus Raboy. What better way to end than with Cat Williams' signature role, the iconic Money Mike. We all remember and adore this character. And the funny thing is that it was Williams' first movie role. As the third part of the Friday trilogy created by Ice Cube and DJ Pooh, Friday After Next begins with cousins Craig and Day Day sharing an apartment. Just on Christmas Day, a man disguised as Santa Claus sneaks into the apartment not to leave them presents, but to steal their rent money. This leads to a whole odyssey that forces them to look for a job and to cross paths with Money Mike, a stylish pimp who stars the funniest gags in the film. But that also generated some controversy because in the recent podcast, Williams revealed that Ice Cube's original script included a scene of sexual violence in which Money Mike was the victim of Damon, Terry Crews' character in this film. According to Williams, he pushed hard to have that scene lightened, turning it into the famous scene with the pliers. Well, Ice Cube has just released a video on X, better known as Twitter, clarifying that he never thought of a scene of sexual violence because it is not his style. Beyond that, he acknowledged that Williams' charisma made Money Mike so special that they gave him more prominence than they originally thought. Williams himself stated on the podcast that he wrote Money Mike's lines, plus he designed his hair and outfit. He put everything into that character, earning him a pretty solid start in Hollywood. Neither film indeed competed for an Oscar, but that was never their intention. Attention. Cat Williams has a gift for comedy, so it's obvious that he will appear in films of that style. Although some of us want to see him in a dramatic story, I'm sure he'll do well. Despite the controversy, Cat Williams' podcast is an example of how working hard is going to make you a lasting figure in the industry, completely avoiding any kind of shortcut. You may like him or not, but Cat Williams is definitely one of those who works hard. If you think any Cat Williams films were missing from this list, you're free to talk about them in the comments. Thanks. See you soon.